Uh, good afternoon, this is Luther P40. Uh, coming back with a, a short list of things that I like and uh, things I don't like. Um, I'll try to go through these real quick. Uh, this, the liquid drain cleaner and the crystal drain cleaner, uh, they're effectively the same thing, but I actually like the liquid better. I like the liquid much better than the crystals. Uh, they work, they work the same, as far as I can tell. I just the crisp the liquid just pours in you get instant results when it happens uh, let's see what else in here plastic dip yeah all right that that don't work that won't stick to the plates see all that black stuff that's that plastic dip right there it won't stay I mean obviously I pulled some of this off to, to clear these plates off a little bit but I don't think you can let it, I, I don't think it'll, I mean at some point or another there's going to be some weak point and the solution to get up underneath it and it's going to start separating so plastic dips are out, don't do that. Uh, red iceberg, uh, red silicone, the high temp stuff, I don't like this stuff except for, by gosh it's sticky. No matter what you, uh, no matter what you do it's always going to leave a drip going from one place to another. Uh, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to have it inside your cells like I did right here. I mean the intent here was I was covering this up and I was covering it with a plastic dip and it was protect the protect, protect it from the solution getting to it. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be relegated to doing just to, it's all it's going to be relegated to do is, uh, is sealing the outside of the terminals. I won't be putting any on the inside like I did on this one. You can't see it but uh, like that this stuff is supposed to be a supposed to be a yellow teflon tape like stuff uh, intended specifically for gas uh, it seems to work just fine for uh, for fittings but it, you can't stretch it far enough it won't stick on the on the on the lids scrum lids i don't like that i mean i, I think a in our situation, probably just a standard white Teflon tape would probably be the cleanest and least uh, way of going. I've tried some of this. I don't care for this, and there's two reasons why I don't like it. It's a, I don't know if you can see, see if I can put it where you can read it. It's a pipe, a pipe joint compound. Uh, it's supposed to have some uh, te uh, PTFE in it. And actually what this stuff looks like when you use it, it's like a dry paste and it, it I think I'm not clear what it's doing but when you screw something in it's sort of grinding along putting stuff in there and I made the mistake I made the serious mistake of thinking hey I'll just use that and that way I can take my lid on and off real easy and you know what that thing locks that thing down almost tighter than if you glued it down right here I you know if I'm trying to take make something removable I want to be able to turn it in on and out with my fingers that would be real handy. I don't want to have to get a two by four with a rope and a nut bar just to get that loose. Anyways, one little one, one, while I'm here, one little quick quick tip: if you find that your screws aren't going in very well, I find I would take a, um, a wire wheel on a grinder and just gently go around on these grooves. You'll knock out the where the mold marks are, and this thing will just screw right on in there. It'll screw in there like it was meant to go there. Not like not like the way are not like the way they are when it comes to factory. Uh, what I do like for the lid, what I like for this, is this plumber's grease right here. That is so daggum sweet. It's expensive. Let me tell you know what. That's expensive stuff right there. For what for how much you get, that's expensive. But it'll let the lid screw on there and it'll keep the gas inside and it'll let you take it back off. That's the important part. Uh, what else do I not like here? Oh yes, uh, stainless steel uh, uh, clamps. I was using these as uh, as conductors, and I'm not convinced that these are solid stainless steel. Because if you look close on this one of my test rigs, it looks like it's stainless steel coated. Now, I can't do it very well without. I mean that's. That might be just junk on the outside. I have to take that apart and look at it. But I, I'm thinking that these are not these are not usable as conductors. Let me see what else we got here that I miss. Oh, I like this stuff. 
handy pack of the cement and the primer at the same time let you do those fittings that's sweet that works well oh this thermometer I like this thermometer this one is a uh, I went looking for it you can't find it online anywhere uh, I found it at, I found it at Lowe's they must have found somebody that had a truck somebody pulled up in a truck and sell them out the back of the truck is an x -Tex IR thermometer it's good from um, minus 58 degrees to 716 degrees Fahrenheit now keep in mind it's a uh, infrared it's not going to be accurate so all it's going to really tell you is the heat that's coming off like when I when when my PVC pipes were boiling my uh, IR meter was saying it was 165 degrees I knew it was I knew it was boiling I could tell it was boiling but the, like I said it's only it's only going to tell you the heat that's actually being released what else did I miss? Did I miss anything? Oh yes. Don't like 10 gauge. Don't like 10 gauge because when you push it to the far as far as I do, you know, 10 gauge is really only rated for uh, 13 amps continuous, and I'm cranking it out there in in the 20s and 30s, and that just dies on you. Now I like this stuff. This is a this is a 8 gauge, 8 gauge stranded. Nice stuff. Sweet stuff. I like that. Uh. Well, I think that's about it. And uh, informal review. This basically concludes my informal review of the stuff I tried and said, huh, well that don't work. Anyways, I appreciate you taking the time to take watch my videos and uh, take care.